So these are my Roland hot boxes. Uh, I've got four of them together and I've been heating this up here. That's 157, 168, 163, 165. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be experimenting with combining some color with my graphite, which I just made fresh. I also have some burnt scarlet here, which I just want to see how nice that is. It's, it's actually quite nice. Um, the color, I'm just testing out the color. And then I've got brown pink, and these are R and F. So you kind of want to just let those, um, that's pretty close, this brown pink. And then I've got cadmium red deep. And I've also got cadmium red, and I made these two. These are actually encaustic paints, so these are not necessarily just monotype. So whether I want to add color or not, I'm kind of deciding. And these are kind of a very, you know, they're not densely pigmented, so I'm not really sure how much of that I'm going to use. But I do know that I want to use my graphite, and I'm experimenting with Kitakata paper, so it's a uh, rice paper, very thin. And it's kind of pretty with that burnt scarlet, though. I kind of like that. So I'm using the whole plate, um, which I don't always do. But <laughs> I cut my Kitakata paper and um, to fit these four boxes. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to make these gestural movements here and use the whole surface and see what happens. So because I'm, I'm really experimenting with that paper for the first time and I don't really know what to expect. Um, does that sound familiar? <laughs> um, so I want to get some of this um, burnt scarlet into the uh, palette, um, but not, not a whole lot. Like I'm not really sure how much I want to add this color. But just for kicks, I'm going to um, kind of selectively add it in parts of the uh, design here. And I look at this as largely a drawing medium because, and the reason I say that is because I'm, I'm really focusing on the mark making. I'm not thinking of composition in that I'm going to like adjust layers and adjust value and all those things. Like whatever I get, I get, and that's it. It either works or it doesn't. And you can move these colors around with various tools. So I love these little silicone tools. Um, they're used in the kitchen, I think. <laughs> but uh, I, I just like to, um, you know, see what I can do with uh, just delicate marks and coming in with various tools. You just never know what's going to happen. but. Um, I do like this delicate mark that I'm getting, and I'm not sure how that burnt scarlet is going to come into play, but it's um, it's working its way in here. It's uh, I think nicely integrated. It's something I have repeated. I've got it repeated uh, within this plate, but probably not as much as it could be. So I'm I'm initially just getting a feel for space. How much? real estate do I have on these plates? You know, there's a, quite a lot and uh, with the four Roland hot boxes. Got a really cool effect right there. So what I'm doing now is getting kind of some fine marks and then I'm also allowing some of these um, more prominent marks that I made initially with the actual burnt scarlet itself. And I can come back in here and just do that. You know, I'm always thinking of geometry, but um, in a case like this, there's so much curvilinear to draw shapes into this and see if they make it to the paper. And I love the quality I love about this thicker monoprint wax is the what's called reticulation, where it actually kind of you get these little particles that you see when you print the paper. But this is a wonderful medium if you love mark making. And that's kind of one thing that I love to exploit with this medium is the nature of the mark. So I can still explore geometry, uh, not so much the rectilinear, but in this case I'm 
kind of um, playing with the idea of circles, which I love, circles and dots. I do often have those in my work. And these just remind me of like yarn balls, which is kind of fun. I think of all the different ways that I paint um, in terms of medium that this is one of the most meditative. It's really fun to see how these waxes interact with each other and the, the black and the uh, burnt scarlet. This is very intuitive, uh, just, you know, making, I like thinking about thick versus thin direction. Um, and I've got a very limited palette, which is fun to play with that because then you can really focus on the marks much different when you're painting and you've got, you know, even a limited palette and you've got white and black on your palette. So then you've got tints, tones, and shades, but that's really not coming into the equation with this, not with these monotypes. Um, so I've got uh, <clears throat> some other colors here I guess I could experiment with here. A little bit. Um, here's a gold stick, which is kind of kind of interesting. <clears throat> Making a very uh, <clears throat> asserted line down here of gold. I often think in terms of strata and scrolls, obviously because of the long and it's not so much a narrow plate, but it just uh, has that quality. Feeling like a scroll to me and I uh, come in with all these silicone tools and draw into them, so. So if you love asymmetric writing, this works very well. So you get a certain quality of line. It's kind of making some different widths here, which I think is probably a good thing. Okay, now I think I can maybe print this. So it's a new paper, Kitakata. And you have to be somewhat careful when you lay this down because <clears throat> wherever you lay it is where it's gonna go. I did measure the um, <clears throat> paper, so hopefully this will fit. Oh well, I think I'm just going to let it drop where it's going to drop. And this uh, paper is kind of a tan color. It's not white. And I'm liking that. I'm liking how it's not too white. So then you just take newsprint and you want to cover the surface like this. You can reuse it as well. 
unless it gets too soaked, but you just like lay that over the top and then you take these barons, which are covered with foil, you can see here, but I'm just going to um, kind of work from the middle to the outside. Okay, that's it. Take these off and just lay it like that. Um, so what what you what you see here is actually the back side, and when I peel this um, up, you'll see the front side. So why don't I peel it from here, and then you can see. How that looks and then you just want to let it cool and I like to hang it from my wall so that I can look at it and so there you have it um, this is how it looks so far I think you can see that but uh, I'll hang it on my wall <laughs> let it dry